Hello, and welcome to the New Deal Creative Arts Center Stories at Seven Holiday Edition. I'm Jess Like, and tonight I'll be reading for you The Snow Must Go On, a way, way off Broadway adventure by Molly Wygand. All right, here we go. Let's find the first page. <clears throat> the sun shone bright and friendly in the South Pole sky. On the gleaming glacier below, the snow people and penguins of Antarctic Springs prepared busily for Christmas. Shoppers hunted for perfect surprises, children made big wishes, and workers sculpted and decorated the town's shimmering ice tree. December feels cool and crisp at the bottom of the world, but warmth and goodwill bustled in this tiny snow-covered town. The ice tree. At midday, a silver speck appeared in the eastern sky. It grew larger and larger until all eyes were on the brilliant shape. It's the albatross, yelled a snowman. The majestic bird flapped over the town square, casting dusky shadows amidst the sparkle of the snow. There he is. Come one, come all, squawked the albatross. Mayor Flakely has called a town meeting. It's urgent, meet in the square at moonrise. Come one, come all. That evening, as the moon ascended into the violet sky, every snowman and snow woman, every snow kid, every snow dog and snow cat, and every penguin, great and small, hurried to the square. Welcome, good citizens, said Mayor Flakely, a tall, distinguished snowman with a kind but booming voice. Here it is, December again. Children everywhere are thinking about one magical wintry wonderland and mar a marvelous place where happy holidays begin. You mean the North Pole? asked a tiny penguin. The mayor nodded a little sadly. Yes, the North Pole, he sighed. But don't you wish people knew that the South Pole folks are merry and jolly and fun? Look how jolly and fun. The world should hear our story, said Mayor Flakely. But how, everyone asked in perfect unison. We need some big ideas, said the mayor. The albatross raised his wing. How about a cool slogan, like, uh, Antarctica, cold and lots of it. Some slogan, muttered a penguin. Maybe we could offer a fancy cruise, suggested a snow mom. Mayor Flakely scratched his head. Hmm, cruises and icebergs. I'm afraid that's not a good fit. There they are at the South Pole. A group of penguins jumped up and down excitedly. We know, they giggled. Pick us, pick us. What is it, little friends? Asked the mayor. Let's put on a show, they yelled. And just like that, it was settled. Antarctic Springs would put on the biggest, best holiday show ever. The little penguins, yay. Each penguin and snow person had a special talent to contribute. One snowman sang a rock and roll song. You ain't nothing but a reindeer flying all the time. You ain't nothing but a reindeer flying all the time. You ain't never seen a penguin and you ain't no friend of mine. Dun, 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 dun. Another snowman practiced a magic trick. Watch me pull a penguin out of my hat. Nothing up my sleeve. Presto. The penguin squirmed in the snowman's mitten. Ouch, yelled the penguin. Watch the feathers, Buster. Strains of the Nutcracker Suite filled the air over the town's skating rink. Three young girl penguins leaped and twirled to the music. Point your flippers, said the snow woman teacher. Look pretty now. Listen, it's Waltz of the Flowers. Be a flower. What's a flower? Asked one of the penguins. Another penguin brought a big kettle to the town square. I will now juggle 15 fish with my foot flippers, he boasted. One at a time, he added fish to his juggling show. And behind the back, he continued blindfolded. Ta-da! A big burly comedian used a stick for a microphone. So a uh, snowman walks into an ice cream shop. The clerk says, go away, we're closed. Snowman says, Come on, let me in. I'm a nice guy. Get it? 
an ice guy. An ice guy? Is this thing on? The comedian joked, tapping the microphone stick with his hand. <laughs> Whoa, chilly room. While the performers rehearsed, the costume crew sewed day and night. Mayor Flakely got a brand new hat and a red and green overcoat. Hold in your stomach, said the penguin seamstress. I am holding it in, chuckled the mayor. Soon the songs were all in tune and the dancers were in step. Workers put finishing touches on a magnificent theater in the Glacier Valley. The mayor gathered the cast and crew for a meeting. You know what's wonderful about this show, he asked. Every person in town has an important part in its success. Let's hear it for us. Hip, hip, hooray! As the cheer echoed through the town, a tiny snow girl raised her hand. If everyone's in the show, she asked, who's going to watch it? Stillness blanketed the crowd. Shh! Did you hear that jingle jingle? Asked a penguin. And the prancing and pawing? Asked a snow dog. Who's that? Ho, ho, ho. The cast peeked through the curtain. Right there in the very front row, all the way from the North Pole, was Santa Claus himself and all his reindeer. The snow people and penguins performed their hearts out. The show was a smash. Bravo, South Pole, yelled Santa, jumping to his feet. You've proven that North, South, East, or West, it's the joy inside our hearts that counts as Christmas. And that magical moment, in that tiny Antarctic town, everyone felt merry and jolly and absolutely on top of the world. The end. Happy holidays, everyone. Come back tomorrow for another story at seven.